안녕하세요 교회 여러분 목요일 아침 말씀 묵상 시간입니다 오늘은 저번주와 같이 아동부를 섬기시는 정미안 전도사님이 말씀 전해 주십니다 어, 죄에 대해서 어떻게 하면 우리가 더 하나님께 나가고 죄를 이길 수 있는지 참 좋은 말씀인데 여러분 듣고 묵상하시는 좋은 하루가 되기를 바랍니다 감사합니다 창세기 4장 1절에서 9절 말씀입니다. 아담이 그의 아내 하와와 동침함에 하와가 임신하여 가인을 낳고 이르되 내가 여호와로 말미암아 등남하였다 아니라 그가 또 가인의 아우 아벨을 낳았는데 아벨은 양치는 자였고 가인은 농사하는 자였더라. 세월이 지난 후에 가인은 땅의 수산으로 재물을 삼아 여호와께 드렸고 아벨은 자기도 양의 첫 새끼와 그, 그 이름으로 드렸더니 여호와께서 아벨과 그의 재물은 받으셨으나 가인과 그의 재물은 받지 아니하신지라 가인이 몹시 분하여 안색이 변하니 여호와께서 가인에게 이르시되 내가 분하여함은 어찌 됨이며 안색이 변함은 어찌 됨이냐 내가 선을 행하면 어찌 낯을 들지 못하겠느냐 선을 행하지 아니하면 죄가 문에 엎드려 있느니라 죄가 너를 원하나 너는 죄를 다스릴지니라 가인이 그의 아우 아벨에게 말하고 그들이 들에 있을 때에 가인이 그의 아우 아벨을 쳐죽이니라 여호와께서 가인에게 이르시되 내 아우 아벨이 어디 있느냐 그가 이르되 내가 알지 못하나이다 내가 내 아우를 지키는 자이니까 아멘 Hello everyone uh, It's an honor to bring you a word of encouragement from the Lord this morning You know, most of us, if not all of us, are parents and we often tell our children stories of when we were younger Sometimes it's just for fun, but oftentimes we tell stories to teach important lessons about life. And as I was studying the passage for this morning, I couldn't help but imagine the stories that Adam and Eve told Cain and Abel. And among many other stories, uh, Cain and Abel probably knew very well the story of how the serpent tricked Eve into eating the forbidden fruit and how she gave it to Adam. Adam and Eve, they wanted their sons to know who God was. And there's evidence that they raised their sons to know and worship the Lord because in today's passage, we see them bring an offering before the Lord. Most of us are very familiar with the story of Cain and Abel, the story of two brothers. Uh, it's a very typical movie-like plot of jealousy that quickly turns into hatred and ultimately murder. The uniqueness of this story is that it's the first murder in the history of the world between the world's first two brothers. And Cain is also the first man uh, who is born into the world. So it's surprising that in only the first four chapters of Genesis, we see the incredible evil that man from the very beginning is capable of because of sin. I've never liked this story and not very many people do. But God's word is not for us to like or dislike. Uh, it is foremost given to us to reveal who God is and then to reveal who we are. So we must pay attention to what God is showing us about the heart of man so that we do not fall into the same sin. The story of Cain and Abel escalates very quickly and we see what the problem uh, is in verses 4 and 5 of Genesis 4. We're told that God had accepted Abel's offering yet rejected Cain's offering. And the question is why? 
Uh, did he not offer God the best of his harvest? Was it the wrong type of sacrifice? Was it his attitude? Uh, whatever it was, God made it clear that he had rejected Cain's offering. Now, there are debates about why, but the book of Hebrews uh, gives us a bit more insight. In chapter 11, verse 4, the author explains that Abel offered up a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. And so, though we may not know, Cain and Abel both knew what God was asking of them. The difference was that Abel obeyed, but Cain did not. And I believe at the core, God wanted a sacrifice that showed Cain's faith in God and therefore obedience to his commands. Because only a couple of verses later, we read in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, For it is impossible to please God without faith. While Cain's offering may have seemed good enough to him, God knew Cain's offering was self-righteous and evil because ultimately he had no faith in God. And in his pride, Cain was offended by God's rejection and then turned his anger towards his brother, Abel. Pay attention to what God says to Cain in response to his anger. Verses 6 and 7 tells us that the Lord says to Cain, Why are you angry? And God tells Cain, if he does right, then he will be accepted. Again, this means that Cain knew what the right thing to do was because God had set the standard. So God places the responsibility of the rejection on Cain himself because what Cain did was replace God's standard with his own standard of what was acceptable to the Lord. While God wanted to be the master of Cain's heart, Cain was already too busy making himself his own master. Have you ever heard the phrase, God will never give you more than you can handle? While it may sound comforting and even kind, it's not biblical at all. Nowhere in the Bible do we see such an idea. The reality is that there are many things that we cannot handle on our own. We can strive and strain to be the master of our own lives and destiny, but we are helpless. The ultimate example of our helplessness is the problem of sin. We cannot do anything to save ourselves. And rather than abandoning us in our helplessness, God himself makes the way for forgiveness and eternal life through sending his son, Jesus Christ. All that is required of us is faith. And this was the way of escape for Cain. Cain needed to run to God in faith and let God master his heart in order to master over his sin. God didn't expect Cain to just be able to rule over his sinful heart without God's very help. Nor does God expect that from us. In every path of sin, God himself offers us the strength to resist and overcome sin. But without such faith, Cain opens the door to sin and ultimately leads him to kill his own brother. In verses 8 and 9, we see the inevitable result of sin that has gone unchecked and uncontrolled. Not only does Cain kill Abel in premeditated murder, he shows no remorse or repentance for his sin, even asking, am I my brother's keeper? It is the worst possible outcome. So sin has now destroyed the relationship between brothers and will ultimately lead to Cain's exile and separation from his family and from God. This is a frightening but true story of the human heart. Every day we hear horrific stories of what the human heart is capable of doing because evil is increasing in our world. None of us are immune to the sin of anger that leads to murder. We see Jesus equate hatred with murder in Matthew chapter 5, verses 21 and 22. Because more than the outward behaviors, Jesus was teaching that sin begins in the heart of man. When we reject God's standard and become our own God, it can only lead to greater sin and destruction. And unlike Cain, when the seed of anger and sin is planted in our hearts, we must run to the way of escape that God provided Cain. Our escape, our refuge, is God himself. And we must rule over the power of sin in our lives. We must 
be master of the sin that tries to overcome us. But we must remember, the reason Cain failed to rule his sin was because he did not allow God to master him first. When God is not the master of our lives, we will walk in the Cain way of Cain over and over again. We have already been given the warning about the destructive power of sin. We know that God must master us first. And if we do not master and rule over sin, it will destroy our lives and the lives of those around us. We can resist sin and find blessing or let sin overpower us and be devoured by the schemes of the enemy. As our church moves through a difficult and uncertain transition, sin is crouching at our doors. Not just the doors of our church, but also in our homes, the closest and the most intimate of our relationships. The enemy will take every opportunity to sow pride, anger, division, and strife. And in each and every one of those moments that the enemy seeks to destroy the relationships between us as brothers and sisters in Christ, we too have a way of escape. Our only help is God. And when we turn to God and allow Him to master and have control over our hearts, He will provide us the way of escape from sin and yes, victory over sin. I pray that this chapter of Yongnak Church will be a story of love, forgiveness, and unity as true brothers and sisters in Christ. And when we do sin, to ask God uh, and others for forgiveness so that relationships may be saved and restored and even flourish in Jesus' name. And lastly, that the worship that we offer before the Lord is filled and saturated with a faith in our hearts that pleases God. The Lord bless you today. 정미안 전도사님 말씀 감사합니다. 말씀 듣는 중에 또 읽고 묵상하니까 정말 저희 인생을 살면서 우리가 죄를 그 죄성을 이길 수는 없는 것 같아요. 특히 사탄 마귀는 우리의 가장 약하고 어려운 부분을 골라서 공격을 하기 때문에 정말 칠 수밖에 없는 거죠. 하지만 우리 마음에 성령 하나님 예수님의 마음 가지고 성령의 검과 말씀의 방패로 이겨나갈 수 있습니다. 여러분 하나님께 온전히 내어드리시고 또 하나님의 힘으로 죄를 이기고 승리하실 때 우리가 참 그리스도인으로서 또 하나님의 딸과 아들로서 이 세상을 이기며 넉넉히 이기며 살수 있을 것 같습니다. 오늘도 하루도 승리하시고 말씀의 방패로 성령의 검으로 하루를 활기차게 보냈으면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. 기도하겠습니다. 좋으신 하나님 오늘 미안 전도사님 말씀 전하시는 중에 또 하나님의 말씀을 하나님의 살아계신 음성을 듣습니다. 우리가 아무리 노력해도 정말 죄에 대해서는 이길 수가 없습니다. 저희는 죄성이 너무 많습니다. 하지만 십자가 그리스의 도 보혈로 죄 시슴을 받고 내지하시는 성령 하나님의 인도하심과 보호하심으로 능히 이길 수 있으며 감당할 수 있습니다. 하나님 아버지 우리 오늘 살때 죄에 대해서 우리가 생각할 수 있게 하시며 그 죄를 그리스도 예수의 나사라 예수의 이름으로 이길 수 있는 힘과 능력 주실 줄 믿습니다. 그 힘으로 살기를 원하는 우리 교우들 또 저가 될수 있도록 주여 인도해 주시옵소서. 감사하며 귀하신 예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘 오늘은 날씨가 춥지만 그래도 안전하고 따뜻하게 보내시길 바랍니다. 안녕히 계세요.